Hi there. My name is Christine, and I'm a professor in the Department of Physics and Space Science at the Royal Military College of Canada. And I'm also a professor in the Department of Physics, Engineering Physics, and Astronomy at Queen's University. I became a physicist because I was fascinated by the notion that we could understand the universe using a few simple laws, like the law of gravity. And moreover, that the same laws that dictated how things on the earth work are, are also dictate how things in the rest of the universe work. In other words, we know that the reason why something falls off a table when you knock it off a table is because of the force of gravity. Gravity is the thing that keeps all of us uh, down on the earth. And that same force of gravity dictates a lot of how the universe itself evolves. So as you might have guessed, my branch of physics is astronomy. I am an astrophysicist, and I study objects in the sky in order to understand how the universe works. And my particular specialty is studying objects like the one in the background to my left, galaxies like the Milky Way that we call spiral galaxies because the pattern of the pattern of gas and stars on their surface, on, on their faces. Now, my expertise is studying how the orbits of gas and stars work in a galaxy like the Milky Way. And those orbital speeds are interesting because they allow us to, to, to infer where the mass is in that galaxy and therefore how gravity works. Now, the particular kinds of instruments that I use to observe galaxies are most often radio telescopes. And an example of a radio telescope is shown on the right-hand side of my background. That's a brand new telescope that is, uh, has been built in uh, Western Australia called the Australian SKA Pathfinder. It's a telescope that I use often in my research. And radio telescopes are good tools to study galaxies because they're very sensitive to the, a lot of the gas in galaxies. And sometimes galaxies have even more gas in them than they do stars. And in the Milky Way, there's a comparable amount of gas and stars. So both um, radio telescopes as well as telescopes that study stars are great tools for studying galaxies like the Milky Way. Fun fact though, when you look at how the gas and the stars orbit around the center of a galaxy like the Milky Way, and you use that to infer how much matter is there, you find that the vast majority of it is dark. In other words, a galaxy like the Milky Way has 10 times more dark matter in it than it does gas or stars. And so the matter that we see in galaxies today is really only the tip of the iceberg in terms of all the matter that's there. And so what my particular research interest is using radio telescopes like the one on my right to study spiral galaxies like the one on my left and I look at the orbits of the gas in the stars on the in those galaxies in order to discover where the dark matter is. I think galaxies are some of the most interesting objects of the universe and astronomy is an extremely interesting branch of physics. And so if you find the night sky interesting or astronomy interesting that could be something that you could study as well in your future career. Nice to meet you and enjoy Science Rendezvous.